Here it is. 2B2T. The oldest anarchy server in all of Minecraft. Home to years of history and an evolution of a thriving community. 2B2T is a server where there are no rules, no report system, and unquestionably no moderators or admins constraining you. On this server, you can do anything up to the limits of Minecraft's game mechanics and more. In this video, I'm going to give myself 24 hours to engage in this server for the very first time. I truly do not know what I'm getting myself into. When it comes to 2B2T and its community, I could confidently deem that everything here is completely new to me. Finally, after the 8 years I've been playing Minecraft, and after all the servers that I've played in, all the communities I've established in, and all the people that I've met and interacted with, this is one of the few stones that I've yet to turn. And today is the day where I finally take a look into the depths of the server. This is 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Let's do this. We're gonna be embarking on a journey in 2B2T. Now, I have no idea of anything about whatever this server is about other than that it's very old. I've heard it's laggy. I've also heard that you need a hacked client, but I'm going in dry because I'm using Optifine and uh, this probably might be just a massive mistake that I'm going to put myself in. But uh, yeah, as you see from the title, I'm gonna probably just try my best to survive or do whatever I can and just make something happen out of this. I'm just gonna be sitting and playing 2B2T for the next 24 hours so uh yeah let's start right now it's officially 11 30 p.m where i'm at right now so uh there's a queue 309 people are you kidding me i'm gonna have to wait here for the next four hours all right you know i could work with that that's fine i'll be back in four hours and whatever until the queue is over so uh i'll see you guys later <sighs> what time is it oh god it's uh 1 12 a.m right now it means i've been waiting for an hour and 42 so that's a lot faster than expected but yeah it looks like our position is like 57 that's a lot faster than expected it says it's only 43 minutes in the estimated time i've been waiting for like an hour and 40 so uh it's actually a lot faster than expected it said it was gonna be at four hours for me to wait currently eating some food because i know that i'm gonna have to be sitting here for 24 hours and playing tb2t but uh the position is at three right now holy crap i'm in whoa uh, I, I don't know i don't know what's going on we finally made it to the best server in the world all right uh i don't know what i'm getting myself into at all i have not watched any fit mc videos all right i don't know what this is at all this is disgusting this is the worst spawn i've ever seen in my life wow by the way all of the reaction and what i'm saying is coming from a person that is not knowledgeable in this server in any way shape or form i am a skywars player i came from hypixel i play uhc now and i have not touch this community at all this is in terms of communities this is probably on the very far corner of minecraft and oh my god i'm good i'm good but yeah it seems that there's a lot of interesting things to see around this server and i'm willing to get a whole day experience of it oh man this is just awful and i did mention earlier that i don't have any hacked clients or anything that apparently is very useful so uh that's pretty cool ow i'd like to get some resources you know maybe some wood i just kind of want to get out of here i need to get some food very soon or else i'm gonna die i slash helped i don't know what's going on here duh, duh, duh. oh you could slash kill if you really wanted that's very nice that's gonna be good if i'm ever stuck because i'd assume that there'd be some traps or something since this is the oldest server i wouldn't be surprised that there would be just random stuff that would just be a massive nuisance especially for starter players like me this is part of the video that i realized that the chat and the wither tags in 2b2t is absolutely terrible and throughout this whole entire video there's going to be all these terrible messages which is most definitely not friendly on youtube so with that acknowledgement in mind i highly recommend to ignore all of these advertisements and offensive messages i don't like that advertisement that's the thing oh where am i going dude is there going to be any pigs that or something maybe some animals for me to kill what is that okay anyways oh there's so many cobble monsters i'm assuming that most people here just aren't around this area uh i don't know where to go i, I really don't i have no idea what's going up on here this is so strange joker's at what two million how far have these people gone this is a massive map all right let's just keep going oh i ran out of sprint this is bad i just hear random explosions somewhere i have no idea why those exist but it's happening and it's terrifying and if i get blown up then that's not okay but i mean it sounds fairly far away oh that's that's 
that's not okay. I should not go towards that, but I am because I'm trying my best. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I that's a wither. We need to go. Oh, it's shooting at me. No, 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 no. Seems to be there's a lot of another. Oh my God. That looks amazing, but chaotic at the same time looks like there's a lot of nether portals for some reason i have no idea why i think that since there's a lot of nether portals does that mean that people are trying to use the advantage of going to the nether a lot faster so then you could go faster in the overworld because i think every block in the nether equivalates to three blocks in the overworld so that means you could just basically speed on through that seems about right i feel like that means that i should go to the nether and hopefully go to the far outskirts of the overworld that way i need to find another portal soon then because i don't think i'm gonna make it my hunger super low i really need to find something very quickly before it's too late i might just die hold on there's a portal right there hold on i think i could get to it i get some sand come on i'm on my way you all right let me try to go for it we're making it and we're in nice let's see what is through here oh god no what i uh, uh, where do we go okay i'm going back all right i feel like i'm not ready to go there yet maybe we could get a little bit more blocks and then we'll be fine because if we get more blocks then once we get through that portal then we'll be able to get other stuff and to just bridge out okay it seems that i have a good amount of blocks here oh there's a portal right there okay i'll be into that i do have a good amount of blocks a lot more than before so uh hopefully i'll be able to find some other things all right at least it's still not a trap i'm gonna go up oh where to start all right here i'll go through here okay Okay, well, at least we found some wood, finally. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it because it seems it's better to be more of a path than anything. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's bad. Oh, the curse of using gravel. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to just maneuver my way here. That's a pigment. That's food, right? That has to be food. I'm going to have to do something. Maybe dumb. Maybe smart. Hey, buddy. I might eat you later. Later as in soon. Soon as in like once I make this trap, now we kill him. I'm going to have to kill you, man. Oh god, you have friends? Where are you? Doesn't matter. I'm going to kill you. Just die, please. This may or may not be a good idea. Oh. Ow. Oh no, it's starting. I'm starting to die. Oh no, his rotten flesh fell, but at least I got the nugget. That wouldn't matter anyways, because I'm gonna die. Oh no, this is it. Oh! I died from a zombie pigman. Well then, that was an interesting experience. That was life number one. Oh, we're back. No! All right, you know what? Screw it, dude. I'm gonna try to go back over here. Let's see. I'm gonna just go straight to another portal, and let's see what goes through here. Absolutely nothing but rubbish. Well, that's not very cash money. There's a person right there. Hello. There's a chest. I wonder what's over at the chest. All right, I guess we have to maneuver with some parkour. Jump, and what's in it? Nothing. Hi. Are you still mad at me? We're friends, right? Okay, we're friends. Holy crust. What is this? We made it to whatever this ceiling slash roof is. I mean, that's pretty cool. I don't know where to go, though. I guess we'll just move on from here. That's a person right there. Oh, this person's really stacked. Hey, bro. How you doing? Oh. Okay. They placed end crystals. They have those. A full enchanted diamond sipping on notch apples just swoops in with an end crystal and kills me one shot. Wow, looks like the technology here in 2B2T is very advanced. We got all of the dirt in the world to just work with here. This is gonna be great. All right, I got a lot of dirt, which is really, really nice. What I feel like would be very smart is if I could just find an ender chest and then I could just go and farm all of the dirt that I can. If I stashed up, I think it'd be very helpful. Where's the ender chest though well at least we found our ender chest yahoo this is gonna be super useful you know i'm gonna do the smart thing and just like coordinate save right there boom is all there all right i guess i could just peacefully harvest some more dirt and if i die that's gonna be fine because the dirt's gonna stay oh god i just lost connection to the server no oh we're gonna have to wait a little bit more come on i want to play 2b2t the oldest anarchy server in minecraft and we're back i'm so glad that i kept all of the dirt that i mined how's this server been still doing terrible as usual chat's basically awful the top of my screen is just advertisements it just sucks if you see any text don't trust it it's dumb i think that was a uh, all-around good advice i'm gonna go kill myself now up oh uh, and uh oh, and now we have full hunger very nice first things first let's get our dirt because i don't think we're gonna maneuver in the nether that well without any dirt let's sacrifice five stacks of dirt let's see where we go let's go over yonder all right now we could actually move around the areas all right we're gonna have to find something somewhere the lag is hurting my brain it's currently at like 12 tps right now 20 is perfect by the way if you have 12 tps it's kind of an issue all right i don't know what the main plan is here but i'm trying to just maneuver around and try 
trying to find stuff that might be very helpful. And it looks like there's just still a lot of jumbled up jumbles of jumbly jumble. I don't want to just maneuver farther out so then I could actually reach the actual world where there's trees and dirt and grass and all the other nice things that a real part of the world would actually have. This is going to be a kind of a parkour situation going on for the next how many hundred blocks I'm going to try to run through. Oh, I see a person right there. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I didn't need to see that madness. What is that? Is that a wither thingy? Those are withers down there. What? Oh, I gotta be careful. It's lava and death and withers and not okayness right below me. And I do not like it at all. My screen is getting worse. This is actually very nice. Whoever made this. This is the most convenient bridge I've ever seen. Is that a crafting table over here? Hold on. Yes, please. I'd like. Yes, very good. I'm gonna just yoink that. Thank you very much. Yes, we actually have a crafting table for once. Oh my God, I've been walking. Hello. That's a person right there. Yo, you're terrifying. You actually have stuff. I don't know if I want to go around you. Am I going to die from you? Hey, man. What is up? I'm kind of scared, you know? Looks like you're helping to rebuild. I'll just walk around you. Just an average dope. A community member helping out to rebuild our beautiful highways, right? What a valiant effort. I appreciate that. To top it all off, they didn't kill the random non that has five sacks of dirt. What a great representation of the community. I've been walking like 400, 500 blocks and we finally found some wood over here. I was wondering where the wood is at because I see a lot of non nether blocks and the only blocks I see are just dirt and obviously like the stone and stuff but i didn't really see any wood i'm glad that there's like at least one piece right here there's some over there too i kind of want to get that it's gonna be very useful if i ever need to make tools you you ouch i can't get those hearts back until later come on all right five planks not bad hey if we go back to a ender chest and we could probably make some stone tools and it's gonna be very nice oh it's been seven hours since we've joined pb2t for the very first time and so far for the seven hours and the two times where i had to leave and join back and go back in the queue there has not been a lot of progress but i'm pretty sure that our progress is gonna grow exponentially over time and uh very soon we're gonna get stacked hopefully probably not as stacked as some of these players that are like hardcore veterans but i'm just kind of aiming for maybe like full diamond a good old base maybe enchantments probably enchantments i'm a uhg player and just have a well-established place for me maybe i could have a little teeny tiny dent of contribution towards the server in the next 24 hours who knows but right now i'm just a lad with a few planks of wood walking aimlessly so uh pretty much no direction to go just another 17 hours to go what just happened i just lost connection to the server again for what reason i was just having a little stroll i was just walking do i have to go back into the queue again oh my christ are you serious no for what reason just why is it because i was just holding w for so long so then it would think that i was just doing nothing is that why this is when things got bad there was a lot of connection issues i had a hard time joining the server there was random crashes there would even be times where i try to join the server and i disconnect during the queue but it didn't stop me i tried joining for hours and hours on end hoping that the server would stabilize and i could actually join and play on it i gave myself 24 hours to play 2b2t but an absurd portion of that time was just me dealing with connection issues but then holy crap it happened again it's 6 30 p.m it's the next day are you kidding me this this is my 24 hours experience. I just want to play 2B2T. What's going on with the queue? Is it broken? Did someone break it? The, oh, the server's down now. Okay, okay, great. Right, I'll just wait for it to come back on. I don't know how long that will be, but I mean, if it takes maybe 10 minutes, then that's fine. But if it takes more than an hour, I'm calling quits. Holy crap, it's been so long. It's been almost 24 hours since I started playing 2B2T. It is basically 9 p.m. right now. I started at 11 30 p.m. yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm basically 21 hours and a half away since I've been playing 2B2T. And most of the time, it's basically just me in queue. And it sucks so much. Oh my God, I'm first in queue. Let's go. I've crashed so many times. It just keeps disconnecting me for no apparent reason. I can't rely on playing this for 24 hours straight. I don't know if they have connection issues. I know there's a level of security and that level of security is not that well over in 2B2T, but I don't know. But we're finally here. We're number one in queue. Just put me in the server already. Join. Oh, 
I'm in, and I have my stuff back. We can keep moving. Let's go, boys. We're finally back. Oh, that's so relieving that we're actually still in the same area that we were before. Is that an often thing about the server? Is that it just dies randomly? Is it for maintenance? What is it for? I get it. It's the it's the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, and it's a really big map. But does it really have to just die all of a sudden that often? I was looking through Reddit, by the way, and apparently there's this one message or comment down here says, someone asked, why does the server keep disconnecting me? And then the person said, it's an exploit with death messages. Just do hoggle death messages and you won't get kicked. I try it. Does that even work? Oh, that actually did work. Holy crap. Hey, that's keeping my hopes a little bit higher. I'm going to try to go out for maybe a few thousand more blocks because I just want to be confident that I'm going to be out there knowing that there will just be actual land for me to find, you know, with the trees and the grass so I could actually get resources and maybe I could go find some diamonds and all the goodies because we're still with nothing, basically. We got no food, just a bunch of dirt, no armor, no tools no resources no base not even a bed for us to go and sleep in and it really sucks i'd love to get something you know i'm just hoping out of all the things right now that i just don't get disconnected for the fifth time the queue sucks man i found some more wood i'm gonna go yoink this give me the wood the wood is good i'm just trying to stroll around and get a little bit more wood here any wood i could find very very useful boy. i'm gonna aim for maybe like six thousand or seven thousand for my coordinates so then i'll be confident that there will be things for me out there and not just cobble monsters and water and no food that'd be bad up until this point i was planning to just record the video all by myself experiencing the whole entire journey alone i was just planning to roam around on foot and just looking at the beauty of 2b2t up until i looked at a message in the chat okay so apparently i've been walking and there's this purple text and apparently there's this guy that says i've been playing for a long time right now and i know a lot about the server's lore if you would be interested i could show you some stuff uh i might be down and he's like giving me more information about it if you're interested let me know also this guy wants to tell me about it too i don't know if this is a random person there's bots in the chat i don't know if that's also a bot is that a person is that an actual person i'm gonna message him are you real? I think that's a good start for a conversation. Yes, lol. <laughs> Okay, what should I do? I'm MTNO. Yes, that's what your username is. Are you near spawn? No, I am not at spawn. I, okay, if this person actually shows me around the area, that'd be quite nice. Wait a minute. Is that like a clan or something? Imperium? Are you trying to recruit me or something? I could gear you up in the nether if you would like. That would sound nice. However, I am far. Yo, if we could get geared up, that'd be like amazing. Do you have an elytra? I have dirt. How far exactly? All right. I'm gonna, I guess, finally dox myself. Negative 5k, negative 5k. He's actually on his way right now. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna be seeing him very soon. That's gonna be amazing. Hopefully, I don't get trapped and get one tapped by an end crystal. That would be terrible. I mean, what do I have to lose, right? Well, a few stacks of dirt and my name as a death message. There's nothing much. I'm gonna take my chances. Wish me luck. All right, I'm here. 5k. Okay, ask for the uh, Discord. I'm gonna go talk to the lad. Hello? Yo, what's going on, man? I'm, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing doing good yo tap out hi what's up i'm headed to your location right now yeah i'm i'm recording a video for 2b2t i'm looking around the area right now i don't know what's going on are your cords nether cords or i'm in the nether right now it's like in this like obsidian road thing yeah that's the highway the highway yeah the highway it's called the highway yeah. where's the yeah, where's the cars the also i have another question since you guys are like in the community and i am not i've been getting like disconnected every like 30 minutes and i i joined the queue four times today you have a client? I have Optifine. I need to I need to download a hacked client. Yeah, you 100% oh need hacked client. It's really <laughs> easy to don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never don't, downloaded don't, a hacked don't, client don't, in my life. So at this point, I finally got a hold of some people within the 2B2T community. And this was very exciting for me because I don't even know a single person that I know of in the community to talk to. The fact that these players reached out to me was pretty awesome. And I thought it was a great opportunity to know more about this server. Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. holy crap, Lo. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Thank you. The economy is just trashed. Can you explain the economy? There's a lot of things I don't know. People have There's just all the items repeatedly. No items are worth anything of value. The only <laughs> items that are really going to be rare is if you somehow manage to get your hands on like bedrock or berry. So literally everything that I'm holding right now in my hand, the diamonds, the enchanted everything, the notch apples are basically useless. So it's like dirt. It's worse than dirt. It's probably like specks of dust. What I find interesting about 2B2T 
is that they take advantage of Minecraft mechanics. They push it to the limits, which means that they feel welcome about using exploits. And that's why they duplicated all of these items. When they gave me all that loot with the full diamond and the fancy enchants, I thought they were giving me such a privilege. But then I later realized that the loot that they gave me was just a basic standard. If I wanted to table, I could take you to a stash of mine that has about 500 dubs worth of stuff, which is 500 double chests, each one being 52 dollars per what, what what even is that? And I'm holding end crystals? I died from this earlier. <laughs> Who killed you? Just a random lad that just looked at me and once they looked at me, I'm dead. How big is this community? Very big. Very big. Okay. In terms of the Imperium, how big is that? Is that like a clan? Is it a, a guild? What is it? It's probably the largest group on the server. So I'm in good hands, is that what you're saying? Yes. Very yes. Well, I appreciate the hands. Well, I'd like to look around the area other than like obsidian and the road. What are the best landmarks of the server? Oh my god, I'm falling. I'm falling. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I feel like I'm gonna hit like a wall. Is that gonna hurt? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, okay, I'm fine. So this is the group that I got picked up by. Imperium. There are apparently groups or factions in 2B2T and that there's a degree of reputation and power that people try to get a hold of. And one of these ways to getting some rep is by PvP. In 2B2T, they have a completely different meta of fighting and a very unique PvP style. We pretty much own spawn through like PvP. It's like a hacked meta. Here, here, get into this corner. I'll show you an example of like how powerful clients are. So this right here is called the auto trap. Basically, as soon as it is to you, I'd kind of mine you out. Here, eat, eat a gapple. Ow. As you can tell, it, it is quite a bit. This meta of PvP is like it's, it's like no other meta in Minecraft. It's super it's niche. Completely, it's completely unique. So if I place this end crystal, is that painful? Yes. Okay, that was kind of painful. But I'm guessing you're not going to want to get into PvP. I mean, I mean, we could try a fight. Maybe if we find somebody. What would you say is, is the likelihood for me to actually win a fight against the person with the worst with the same amount of loot that I have? Me right now? Like Absolutely possible. zero. But you're taking knockback. I can just easily... Like, here, I'll give you an example. Okay. Oh, that's awful. Okay. Take you to the bedrock comment. What even is going on? What is considered far? 100k. A million? It goes from 100k to 1 million. How do you get to that? How fast will that take? The 1 million. One hour. Oh, like for hacks? You can only fly about a million blocks an hour, give or take. Oh my god. Eat a gapple. So watch your health. One crystal, oh that's quite a bit, right? Yeah. So now get in here. Oh wow! Now it's like Hard. nothing. So you can so, pretty much just sit in here. You really gotta make sure no one's gonna mine you out too. That's just in case we get into any trouble. The box is the best. Now the spawn is pretty dominated by us. You shouldn't have any issues. How about this, Chad? Here. What if I just did this? What if the end crystal is right here? Like right here? Oh, like without without the back? That wouldn't work because my client can place behind you. How does that make any sense? Try it. Because it's hacks. Just turn around. Yeah, <laughs> it's hacks. You want to test it? Technology. Turn around, Sabo. It's not like wherever I look. Oh my I can god. Place you just did that. Like, Tapil, watch this. I can be completely, like, not be able to see you. Yeah. And I, can, I, can, I can steal a crystal through, through that block. That's it's terrifying. My Have we showed him older Nomad Hut yet? I got it. I got it. I got a it. A Nomad yeah, Hut? This is like... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Come inside. What did you just Automatic do? Nomad Hut. Automatic Nomad Hut. You know, you ever want to travel, you need a house pretty quickly? That's very convenient. After the lads showcased their hacking skills, we decided to go around the server and visit some landmarks. Oh my god. Challenge complete? Look at this. What in the world is this? What? This was built in vanilla. Somebody hacked these items into a back door really earlier on in the server's days. How long are we talking about here? More than three years. Yeah, yeah it's very... He's on the way It's beautiful, right you know? It's beautiful. <laughs> true. And out of all the things that you could make out of bedrock, you made like this very weird looking egg. There's been so many cool other, like, other builds. Oh really. yeah, we should show him AKAK, the lava cast of AKAK. Uh, I think Jesus Donut would be a lot better. Oh yeah, let's show him the Aka. Oh. Oh yes. The archive, okay. So we decided to go on the server. That was pretty much more than an archive exhibit than anything, which was great because I got to see all of the things that were built in 2B2T at one point or another. Now keep in mind that 2B2T is not a creative server. You don't use creative mode. It's all in survival. So all the builds that you're about to see were built by hand, obviously using hacks, of course. But all of these builds most definitely took a strenuous amount of effort. Who made this, by the way? This was made by, mostly by a dude called Turban. Oh, okay. But it's like a community member of 2B2T, correct? 
correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. These, yeah, are, these, your, are, these are your bases. You guys made this. I took a world download from the world download mod where it downloads all the chunks that you load. You can basically use that and implement it onto a server like this. This is from Did the you? server. Wow. All these beacons yeah. and everything. So this was all done in the span for like a couple weeks. This is also on 2B. What is this? Must be the yeah. space station type thing. And this is also survival in 2B2T? Yeah. You made all of this in how long? We didn't make this. Who made this then? Jack the Ripper. I don't know who that is. All of this was in 2B2T at one point. That's amazing. The entrance like, oh, is this way. Is There's this a lot of things that? here. You come down this way. Holy crap. Yep. Holy oh, crap. In survival. Once again, in survival, all built in 2B2T yep. at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Insane, isn't it? This is a flex. You guys are flexing on me. Man, we didn't build this. Yeah, we no, didn't. We didn't. Build this. Yeah, we You're didn't. Flexing build your community. Build this. Yeah. This is insane, really dude. Good. So these are the real cords that it was out on 2B. So if we technically yeah. went there, then we would see like the reminiscence of it. It's all gone. Very yeah, it's popular. Very YouTuber crazy. made a video on it. Oh, so then everyone griefed it. Once they mentioned that, it made me think about the relationship between the 2B2T community and YouTubers, or popular 2B2T videos in general. What's slightly off-putting to me is that when you get something like an anarchy server, as well as YouTube videos, you get a phenomenon where the outcome of the two ends up creating a conflict from their attributes. The YouTube videos have the power to expose the builds and the coordinates, while 2B2T has the power of anarchy, which means that there's no rules. You can break all the builds that you see in the YouTube videos. Even if these builds take weeks and weeks on end to make, it could just take one YouTube video for someone to just show that the build exists and where it's at, and that 2B2T players could easily grief these beautiful builds. Unfortunately, it seems that most, if not all, of the builds that you're seeing right here are gone forever. So, do you want to take a look at like how uh, crazy the meta is? Yes. Okay, yes. so come here. Let's just get All a little right. space so I don't crystal anybody else. So I'll give you a few tips before we start. All right. Basically, um, you're never ever gonna wanna like stand on like flat ground. You're always gonna wanna be in a hole and start crystalline. And the reason for that is the earlier point I brought up with the damage. And then you're also constantly gonna wanna check what your armor is at. Cause like I can melt it pretty quickly with crystals. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's go. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get in the hole. Uncle oh. he's placing on the hole. Oh, the hole. Nice, nice. Wait, is the sword even like a viable thing to do or have? Yeah, oh my god. Too, yeah. I'm gonna die. Oh! Okay, okay. So oh, you're there's my hand. totem. So basically right there, if I use full delay, that would have been much faster. Than Let's turn the rolls around, okay? I'm gonna try to fight you. Right. Let's try 30 seconds of me trying to fight you. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Alright, three, two, yeah, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> come here. You gotta, you gotta click fast. You gotta click fast. You gotta play I'm generating, dude. You gotta play some break. Yeah. Come on. Get yourself back. No. <laughs> yeah. I almost killed myself. I actually was on three hearts. <laughs> so now you kind of see how if you're gonna get into like PvP, you really need a client to like. Yeah, 100%. Even I can not do anything. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Cool. I have an idea. All right. I'm gonna go on all the way on this side of, of the bedrock, and you guys are gonna be over there, and all of you are gonna try to kill me, okay? On go, all right? We're gonna fight. Me versus the lads. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, oh, there's pearls. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, God. No. No, 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 oh, 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 no, oh, no, you no, you killed it. It's undescribably fast. You gotta get a good client. I don't think that was even 10 <laughs> seconds. All right, I'm going to zero zero right now, and it's so amazing to just go around with like a yeah, firework all, all and elytra. Chaos. Yeah, and to just look through all of the cobble monsters. All right, I'm at zero zero right now. What is this? Yeah. You mentioned the term water cube. What is that? So see this area in here? So before it got kind of partially griefed, all of the walls of the water, if you, you can kind of see the shape of bits but yeah. the top was covered by obsidian the sides were and even now if you look at the top of it you can kind of see the cube form it, it, it originally had all right i'm gonna try to go so, us then yeah i see it i see the water cube dude and then just people water even everything. the unbreakable crystals from from the animation from reviving the dragon yeah. yo i'm stuck dude what just happened whoa okay, what just happened so, yo i'm floating down and i can't get out I don't, i'm like uh, stuck so can you mine them out take your elytra off Dog, oh it's working i think it's working i think it's working there you go it worked it worked holy crap what even just happened i don't even know you see this block over here, this animation. This was taken from end spawn while reviving the dragon quickly enough and what moved out of end all the way over here to zero. zero. And then what? this giant water cube over here was kind of made to preserve zero zero and kill new friends. Well, there's this Steve right. right here that's just, you know, around the area. Should I just yeah, shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> he's going down, dude. Hold on. I'm going to go for him. Here, here he is. is. Hey, man. Get him warmed up. Hey, stop hitting me. Oh, 
<laughs> You've already got a positive KD besides those two kills. Let's go! So basically, this was built during what was called the third incursion, which was after a uh, a like a big player base got griefed. The players who leave there kind of wanted to come and like take their anger out on yeah. spawn by killing new players. This was their restock base or an exact replica of what was built. You can imagine how this is extremely hard to grief. Holy crap! It goes all the way up there. Uh, watch this. You can grab his gear if you want. <laughs> well, I'm one of like the top spawn friends here. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at the end. Oh, there's a lot of water. <laughs> Everything's like water cubed up. Can I break this? Hold on. It was just like yeah. yesterday we were here building this. Yeah, so basically whenever it gets boring being a spawn friend, kind of come and work on projects <laughs> and you spawn. We're not really spawn friends if you think about it, but. Wait, there's a zip op guy? Give him a good spanking. Does he, he deserve, deserve it? it? Does he really? Yeah, yeah he, he deserves, deserves it. it. Trust me, he deserves it. Why is he naked? He's like, he's letting me <laughs> do broke. this. He's broke. <laughs> he messaged me, got gaps. <laughs> yeah, let's give him some. No. No, 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 trust me, take him we'll out. Give, take we'll him give out. it to them and then just. Kill him and say easy. Like, <laughs> Are you teaching me to be toxic? Rid of the water? Is this better? Have it once. <laughs> easy. 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 All right, boys, I think it's official. It's 11.46 p.m. I started playing 2B2T 11.30 yesterday. I have successfully played 2B2T for 24 hours. Damn. It's a long 2B2T. Holy crap, what a freaking adventure that we've had. 24 hours in 2B2T. That was insane. That was very, very interesting. I enjoyed it. I thank the Imperium team showing me around the area. I really do appreciate it. That was a great introduction to the server and the community. I never realized how much stuff is behind and 2B2T. I'm glad they gave me this opportunity. I really do appreciate it. My 24 hours has officially been done. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Bye.